All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to export your automation car to BeamNG as electric and then in BeamNG to edit the torque of the electric engines so that you can make it go really fast. Um, so I've just made a little car here to um, demonstrate this with. And if we go to drivetrain, here I have it set to um, an all-wheel drive. I don't know if that's necessary, but it does put a front and rear electric motor in when you export it correctly. And then the speed limiter here is set to 150. That does matter. That will set the maximum speed, even though it's applying to the placeholder engine right now. That will set the max speed of the electric engines. So if you go to testing, which is the second to last, and then go down to description, if you type in the description exclamation point, EV exclamation point, and just leave it like that, it will export this car not with your um, gas powered engine, but with an electric engine. Um, and then I think that's all you need to do, just export it to BeamNG and then I'll show you how to edit the torque in BeamNG. All right, I just exported the car into BeamNG Drive, and it is electric, as you can see. Um, but unfortunately, it's really slow. So what can we do to speed this up? Well, we have to go into the mod files. And how to do that, you just press Escape, go to Mods, then find which one it is. In this case, it's the demo car. So you just click in the box, then press unpack. Then hit open in Explorer. Click the car, click vehicles, then the car again. Then there's going to be four folders. Um, you want to click the one that that's usually a letter and then four numbers, not arrow, not engine, not Lua. You want to click this one and then scroll down to Camso Electric Motor. Double click that. And then here, where it's just a few lines down, it'll say rear motor torque, and then it has all these numbers. This number on the left in this column is the RPM, and this is the actual amount of torque. And so as you can see, the number here is only 141. So let's say we want it to be three times as fast or something. So you can take this whole string between the quotation marks and just replace it with 500. And what you want to do is copy that and then paste it um, in all of the places that it has that same 141 number. Um, I think that number will be different for some cars. But once you get through all of the same number um, torque values, you're going to see the torque start to drop off here. So you might want to decrease the amount of torque proportional to how much it's decreasing here, um, here in the default uh, torque values. So I'm just going to decrease it by maybe 100 or 50 every time so that once you get it to 8,000 RPM, the torque is now down to 100. And so this is just for the rear motor. So if you scroll down, here's another one with the exact same values, but for the front motor. So what you can do is just drag, click and drag to select this entire block here, and then copy it. And then go here, click and drag from the same place where it says torque, and then to the end, and then paste it. And then go to File and Save. So now this is saved. X out of both, then press Pack. Now this should be a whole lot faster. And yep, as you can see, goes way faster than it did before and all you had to do was change some numbers.